video showed everything I needed to win any trial. After making sure I had a safe copy of the DVD, I allowed it to be viewed on the judge's computer. Greenwood wanted to chat about what was on the video in my version of the events, and I agreed. After listening to my side of the story, Greenwood gave me some advice. Let me tell you how this would have worked in the 80s, or the early 90s. There would have been no audio. You would have been in a small town that didn't have audio or video oh, equipment in their store. I'll, I'll start over. I just got to hear what, who Greenwood is. Who is Greenwood? You may call the police and get your own copy if you wish. So he's the prosecutor, okay. So the prosecutor. All right, this is an ex parte. This is oh, we need to call All right, I'm sorry. This no conversation good. should not I'm be outside. happening without both of us present. That's why the door is open. Here's what I'm going to help you out. Again, yeah. try to, anyways. Get you off this train and plead guilty. Should you rather do this in office with the door closed? No, I would not. I would not. I'd rather be doing it out here. Uber. This is why I brought the boy, so he can see how this works. Hey, can you cheat there? Chief Johnny Morris arrived a few minutes later. Greenwood had a conversation with him with an easy earshot of the judge and us. That was inappropriate. showed everything I needed to win any trial. After making sure I had a safe copy of the DVD, I allowed it to be viewed on the judge's computer. Greenwood wanted to chat about what was on the video in my version of the events, and I agreed. After listening to my side of the story, Greenwood gave me some advice. Let me tell you how this would have worked in the 80s, or the early 90s. There would have been no audio. You would have been in a small town that didn't have audio or video equipped, and there's still some, if you go towards Lubbock, that don't. You would have been here. We wouldn't have had an audio video to look at. And the officer, if you pressed it the way you are now, pressed your right, the officer would have taken the stand and testified that you laid hands on him. Okay? And a few of them who are worse than Ellis, in your opinion, Ellis or Wood. Some of those guys out in West Texas, what they would have done is they would have put you on the ground in front of your family, handcuffed you, let you spend the night in jail, and they would have said it was because of hands on them. Your family would have all been witnesses in your favor at trial, but the officer taking the stand in a small rural community would have gone, the jury would have gone with those officers more than likely. And even if they didn't, no one gives a damn because it's all, you're having to do all the work driving out there, doing all the heavy lifting. So either way, they would have won. My bottom line, and this is nothing to you except a little preaching, is I get, I get clients in your position. You don't win. The, the old expression is you may beat the rat, but you don't beat the ride. The right to jail. There's some bad people out there, and they wear badges, and they wear badges so they can get away with it, and they will bend you up. And at the end of the day, unless you've got real good evidence against them, you're not going to get their badge. You may get worse than that, so be careful, okay? I'm going to ask you a question I don't want you to answer. That's Do you have a criminal history? The reason I would ask you that question is because if you go to a trial without an audio or video and you're in your situation and somebody was wrongfully arrested, and you have a criminal history, you're going to lose because they're going to believe the officer and not the guy with the conviction. And you're not even from that town. And the officer is. And he goes to Sunday school with the people on the jury. In small rural communities, that's how it works. You ever seen the movie Deliverance? It's not quite that bad, but that kind of gives you a picture. All right? So be careful when you get outside of the, the suburbs, outside of the donuts, because when you are, it's a different world. 
people, you know, when they're from the suburbs, they don't necessarily realize when you what's written down in the Constitution is one thing. The real practice is another. And you're just not in the same kind of protections you have in Allen and Plano and Richardson and places like that. So we do live in a jackboot society. Sometimes, and we should. Sometimes it's better just to better just to stay in there and let it all roll over. Ooh, Many of you have often said that the activities the that is in the big cities just society. don't occur in small towns. Hmm. They fondly think back to Mayberry RFD with Otis locking himself up, himself, into his jail once he gets drunk. That's interesting. I want to remind you guys of something. Everything has so roots, weird. and generally speaking, Oops. we tend to follow our roots. Every is. major city started as a small mm -hmm. town, mm -hmm. which means that it probably had very similar attitudes and convictions. And as those small towns grew, the only thing that perhaps changes, or that does change, is that the veneer of civilization gets a little thicker, and that they put on the airs of due process and accountability. But the truth of the matter is, they haven't really changed. They're just a whole lot better at hiding it. I'm John Masters, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. The birdies, and they got the little last, and this one's so nice, yeah. Yeah. If freedom is threatened the world. Hey, hey, you slow down. That's, that's jaywalking right there. You, you got all that armor on, so we're gonna we're gonna let you go. It's so that uh, whew, that vidya, that vidya. Um, I mean, you you didn't get to see the interaction. I'm I'm save that best uh, part for the last part. Okay, so wait. Here's the play. These two assholes, right? Wait. Shit, I can't do it. All right, we're going to make the movie. All right, so we'll just stand. All right, we're going to we we just we forgot to rewind and now we're being charged a late fee at Blockbuster. Police officer could be abused. There we go. The difference between okay, those two assholes assault this man an individual in every which way is not exempt. Okay, easy now. That privilege. Now you're just spoiling it. Leaves that. That's so nice. Given to them will never be more easy to see than in this video that. Okay, here we go. If the statements that I'm making are correct or not. And of course, if Shut you look in description. Up. Look in description, you'll see a link to his okay, full done. and complete video. I'm done with you. March 2013 from the city of Electra, Texas. My wife pulled over to the side of the road so we could switch drivers. Before we could finish, electricity police officers Matt Wood and Gary Ellis pulled in behind us. Officer Matt Wood. What was that? Hold on, sorry. It's five seconds. Okay, here we go. Stop! Please stop! Whoa! Okay, hold on. We missed it. Round the horse. I'm getting ready for it. Here we go. There it is. It's a statue. It's a secret statue. Six thirty-eight oh two. This is Florida, obviously. Failure to identify. Uh, subsection A. A person commits an offense if he intentionally refuses to give his name, residence, address, date of birth to a peace officer who has lawfully arrested the person or request. And it, uh, the information. So the detainment uh, is uh, doesn't require ID. Officer okay, Matt continue assaulting this man. Side right, of the go for it. Which again aren't practiced. And opens the door. Yeah, I don't think he knows. The van's at home. I don't know if you're a serial killer. 
Uh, we don't know if he was, Mr. Officer. Go back. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had not committed. Do you know that? 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 Do you know you know that? Do 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 you Citations simply because I verbally objected to their unconstitutional search of my car. To be sure I did not operate a motor vehicle in the state of Texas that night, my wife continued driving. You need to leave. Let's about to get the fuck out of here before we do something stupid again. We can't have all these settlements. Wood marked on the citation that Holy no search shit. had taken place. Most importantly, the citation stated that a video was taken. I requested the video and received it at the pretrial hearing. Todd Green. Man, I just want. And, and, and uh, let's just drive it home. I cannot believe this shit. I mean. So Greenwood is is the city prosecutioner. <laughs> is the Mr. Shane Nope of the of the movie we're watching here. Agreed. After listening to my side of the story, Greenwood gave me some advice. So here we go. So 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 he comments on what Greenwood said. I had said a about. safe copy of the DVD. 
I allowed it to be viewed on the judge's computer. Greenwood wanted to chat about what was on the video in my version of the events, and I agreed. That's really After listening to my side of the story, Greenwood gave me some advice. Let me tell you how this would have worked in the 80s, or the early 90s. There would have been no audio. You would have been in a small town that didn't have audio or video equipped, and there's still some, if you go towards Lubbock, that don't. You would have been here, we wouldn't have had an audio or video to look at, and the officer, if you'd pressed it the way you are now, press your rights, the officer would have taken the scene and testified that you laid hands on him. Okay? And a few of them who are worse than Ellis, in your opinion, Ellis or Wood. Some of those guys out in West Texas, what they would have done is they would have put you on the ground in front of your family, handcuffed you, let you spend the night in jail, and they would have said it was because you put hands on them. Your family would have all been witnesses in your favor at trial. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but the it, it could have happened back then. It's never going to happen now. Community would have gone jury would have gone with those officers more than likely and even if they didn't no one gives a damn because it's all you're having to do all the work driving out there doing all the heavy lifting so either way they would have won my bottom line and this is nothing to you except a little preaching is i get i get clients in your position don't win the, the old expression is you may beat the rat but you don't beat the ride the ride to jail there's some bad people out there and they wear badges they wear badges so they get away with it. And they will bend you up. And at the end of the day, unless you've got real good evidence against them, you're not going to get their badge. Yep. You may get worse than that, so be careful. Yep. Okay? Yep. I'm going to ask you a question I don't want you to answer. Yep. Do you have a criminal so, history? The reason I would ask you that question I mean, is because you I'm go to a trial that. without an audio or video and you're in your situation. You know how much they're dealing with their career. Arrested, and you have a criminal history, you're going to lose they're going to believe the officer and not the guy with the conviction. Hmm. And you're not even from that town. And the officer is. And goes to Sunday school with yeah. people on the jury. In small rural communities, that's how it works. Oh you ever seen the movie so Deliverance? I've never seen that. No, uh, have you ever seen Deliverance? That's how it works. You ever seen the movie Deliverance? We're going to fuck you up too, just like that, buddy. It's not quite that bad, but that kind of gives you a picture. i got to look up this uh, Stacy's right. Law or whatever. Stacy's Stacy Society. Of the and when you are, it's a different world. People, you know, when they're from the suburbs, when they're, they don't necessarily realize when you... It's a Maryland society. What's written down in the Constitution is one thing. The real practice is another. You're just not in the same kind of protections you have now. Let me just snap that back, because I don't know what the fuck that means. So we do live in a jackboot society. Wait, okay, hold on. Paint and snap that. Uh, we should. Okay, there you go, buddy. Have a nice day. Better just, to, better just to stand there and let it all go over. And also... Many of you. Right. Hold on. Stand there and let it all go. He calls it a. So we do. Okay. Alan and Plano and Richardson. Well, it must be those uh, counties, maybe. Okay, what are they saying here? There was um. Something he had called it was like a female's name. Oops. And one more time. Maybe he says it later. What kind of protections you have? Oh, Jacqueline Society. Okay. Used to slow down there. You just got to write your speeding ticket. Um. Where's this bitch at? Wait, where you at? Jacqueline Society. You son of a bitch. Come here. I'm gonna get you. There we go. J and Jacqueline. Sure, she does. She's a crux. Crux. Sophia. I learned how to use that swipe. Society. Well, what did we end up searching? There they are. They're authors. They're book right. They're fucking nerds. Yeah, I knew it. Nerds were in charge of the world. I just knew it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, go on the dark webs for all that, I guess. You know, because they got they they're messing with our children. So you know, they, well, they don't have kids; they're children free, apparently. Now, there's there's probably something um, some other ver verbiage uh, to be associated with that Jackson society. It's uh. It's all just compounding words until I actually understand what the hell they mean, but I don't think I like this Jacqueline lady. Yeah, it was fucking intense. And, and, boy, that stop wasn't even, that was nothing. And they just, whoa, they got really twisted up on them. That's out of control. Yeah, stay safe. Holy shit.